Waves are created when wind blows across the ocean's surface. This creates surface waves in the local area and also swells, which travel much further, sometimes thousands of kilometers. Wave energy converters transform the energy of both waves and swells into electricity. The four most common designs being used today are the point absorber, the rotating mass, the hinged raft, and the oscillating water column. A point absorber is a floating buoy anchored to the seabed, which bobs up and down in the waves. This movement is converted into electricity. Rotating mass devices float and sway in the waves. This movement rotates a weight or gyroscope inside the hull, which then drives an electric generator. A hinged raft, also called an attenuator, is a floating structure made of segments linked together. These segments lift up and down with the waves, generating power at the joints. An oscillating water column is a hollow structure, which is partly submerged in the sea. The bottom of it sits below the waterline, and air is trapped in the part above the water. This trapped air is then channeled through a turbine to produce electricity. Different designs suit different uses and environments, so as well as these four device types, several others are being developed for more specific purposes. The energy potential of our oceans is huge, particularly when it comes to wave power. The theoretical global potential of wave energy is 29,500 terawatt hours of electricity every year. In other words, enough to power all of Europe 10 times over. Not only this, but wave energy is clean, infinite and homegrown. So it's a crucial part of securing the energy supply and achieving our climate goals. Today, scaled and full-size wave energy prototypes are being tested at sea. The most advanced device developers are planning and building the first wave energy farms, with multiple devices working alongside each other, either apart or alongside offshore wind farms. Once built, these pilot farms will serve as a basis for commercialising wave energy and building a new European industry.